The next moment in our discovery learning approach is how to use this stuff, which is supposed to turn grout into a cement-based adhesive. I happen to be using this one because it's what I had and I've just got out enough that's going to fit into that, hopefully that little tray, or oh, more than enough. So when we go, I'm just going to spread it around. It's very tacky, um, so I don't know if it'll glue the plastic wrap to the grout. That's a part of discovery learning and experimenting. And if it doesn't work, I'll try something else. So what I'm going to do with this one is have yellow on the outside and coming into a red center with some stamens and a stigma. So I actually might put this in the middle first so I know where it is. And I might put in a couple of the stamens as well because I want to be sure that I have room for them. So I'm just curling these ones outwards, just for fun, and see what we end up with. Because there'll be things in there and I'll, I can see myself getting into a terrible mess. So hopefully, as we build it in, it'll all prop everything up. But I just want to be sure that I have space for those. Okay, so now I'm going to start around the edges and I'll fast forward because we know the technique of um, starting to do the edge ones with a little bit of space. And now that you know the technique, you might want to do both both um, bits together. So sideways, you'll I'll see that this will make such a difference to the colour of the glass. Um, it will brighten it. But also, um, it will hide the um, colour of the adhesive that you're using. So, bonus is all round. So I'll proceed with this and then come back when I've got almost all of it done. The first round of yellows is in. So now I'm going to move to the orange colours. Second round of oranges all in, ready now to put the red in the centre, and then I'll go through and backfill with all the little skinny bits. Here it is all done. And I put the yellow around, then the orange, and then the red in the middle. And I wasn't really keen on the sort of blocky, the blocky bit, so I've sparsely put red in around the edge, just to give it some life. And I think it's done that really well. We've got our lovely little gold stamens here and our stigma up the middle with some, if I can hold it sideways, some tall red pieces in the centre. So that gives it a very 3D look. So very, very different to the other one. So tomorrow I will gently take this out of this um, little pod here and peel this off. I might wait... Oh, maybe this time tomorrow afternoon because uh, I've not used this method before um, and I may or may not like using a cement based adhesive. We have three cookies available already. Now I'm going to go on to the next one which is going to be really different.